Jet 24 Action News is your local election headquarters. Independent voters could eventually be able to participate in Pennsylvania's primary elections. Two state senators now introducing legislation to repeal closed primaries. Some say open primaries in Pennsylvania could be a good thing for democracy. Others strongly disagree. Chelsea Swift reports. Primary soft Republican Senator Dan Laughlin and Democrat Lisa Boscola are introducing legislation that would allow independent voters to participate in primary elections. Senator Laughlin believes this legislation, Senate Bill 400, will give more people the opportunity to have a voice in their representation. The number of independent voters has been increasing steadily in every region of the state. It is the fastest growing segment of voters in Pennsylvania. A local political expert says participation in Pennsylvania's primary election is often pretty low. What primaries do is they attract the most committed and most partisan members of those parties. Most Republicans, most Democrats don't vote in the primary. So what that gives us um, are the candidates, the nominees, right, who are on the fringes of either party. It is time for our Commonwealth to shift, as much of America already has, <clears throat> to a fairer, more responsive primary system, one where every legitimate registered voter has an equal chance to vote in every election. If this bill passes, voters who are registered with a party will continue to be required to vote on their respective ballots. Local political party chairs have different reactions to Senate Bill 400. I don't know why people are for open primaries. I, I mean, I want to be able to select the person that runs for the Republican Party, at least vote for that person, and, and not feel that my vote's being canceled by somebody on a party that feels completely different from me. The more people we get involved in our primaries, which are typically low turnout, uh, the more likely they are to participate in the general election and to have a vested interest in that general election. And I think that that's good for democracy. Chelsea Swift, Jet 24 Action News. And for all your election coverage, turn to your local election headquarters, yourerie.com.